Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 42. Kaggle recently released a report on machine learning and data science based on over 2,600 international respondents who are currently employed as data scientists. The majority of respondents are male, under the age of 35, and over 68% have either a master's or a doctoral degree. The report shows that companies in the U.S., Germany, and Japan are more likely to pay higher salaries. The top two development environments are Jupyter Lab and Visual Studio Code, with Jupyter Lab as the clear leader. The most popular libraries are Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, Keras, XGBoost, and PyTorch. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 28 for more. Two technologies that create artificial human speech will drive the next wave of innovative voice applications, text-to-speech, or TTS, and speech synthesis. Voice applications have three main components, speech recognition, speech profiling, and speech synthesis. Components of voice-enabled AI conversation applications might involve multiple machine learning models. Speech synthesis systems are composed of several components that are built and trained separately. Real-time, adaptive, and realistic speech synthesis technologies can lead to disruptive applications in domains such as customer service, healthcare, and the public sector. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 28 for more. Apache Arrow is a development platform for building high-performance applications that process large datasets. It recently announced its 3.0.0 release. Arrow's in-memory columnar data format is an out-of-the-box solution that can transfer large datasets between systems with maximum efficiency. Apache Arrow has quietly become one of the most important open-source projects in data. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you.